how did this morning go? Yeah, really good. Um, it's always exciting to be back first day of pre-season, a few new faces, and then just seeing all the, uh, the players from last season, it's always good to catch up, and um, yeah, it's exciting. How is, the, how is the feeling amongst everyone? It's probably the first session, everyone's together for the first time. What is the feeling like? Yeah, it's really positive. Um, obviously, we um, we finished the season really well. It was disappointing not to make finals, so we finished the hub on a positive note, and um, we went away in the break. And, and now coming back, obviously, Cole's been um, appointed as a coach, and um, it's, a, it's an exciting time. And we really want to build on um, the momentum we created at the end of last season. And how much work is done in the off season? You know, I know that you, you were away for a, a, an extended period of time. What do the players get given? What are the, what's the process? Yeah, so we get a program from the strength and conditioning um, team, uh, just a light program, I guess, just to keep ticking over. So when we do come back, we're in um, reasonable shape and there's no no injuries, hopefully, at the start of pre-season. Um, but we've obviously got 11 weeks now to really get fit and um, it's a lot better than when we came back midway through last season. We had three three to four weeks. So, yeah, we've got a, a good time to, to get everything in place. Ross Alvis, you, you signing to the club. What's his sort of impact been already? Um, yeah, he's a good guy. I had him up in Brisbane for a little bit, um, so he's yeah, he's a really positive guy. I think he's a great addition to the coaching staff. He's obviously a, a local SA um, icon, I guess you could say, um, being a captain of the club. So it's, yeah, it's it's exciting to see. You know, you've got your whole coaching team that's ex Adelaide United players, um, a lot of the players are Adelaide based players. Um, so it's a positive for everyone in South Australia to support the club. How do you see him, you know working with the other coaches, bouncing back and forth to make sure that you know there is some positive output this season? Yeah, I think they've probably they've obviously brought him in because they see quality in him um, and what he can bring um, to Cole. Obviously, Cole did really well, but you want to have um, you know uh, someone that's always challenging you, I guess, in the coaching staff and someone to bounce ideas off. And um, you know, he obviously did quite well up in, in Brisbane with uh, with John, his brother, and um, you know, he's he's a great addition. And um, it'll be yeah interesting to see what they do uh, do try to implement for us. We saw our son on the uh, on the, the moon boot on. How is he tracking? When do you think he'll be back? Um, probably a good question for the medical department. It's obviously yeah, a bit disappointing um, how he got injured, uh, but that's part of football, I think. Uh, injuries are ine inevitable, um, but it's now just about getting him fit as quick as possible so he's ready for the start of the season. Was it just an unlucky circumstance? How did it, how did it train? Yeah, I think he was just training with the youth team and went up for, for a header or a challenge and landed awkwardly, so it's something that you know could happen. When you're with your mates um, down at the park having a kick or, or obviously training with the youth team or the first team. So it's, it's something that obviously you want to avoid, but um, unless you put someone in cotton wool, there's obviously a chance that you're going to get injured. It feels like you're without a striker at the moment, obviously with the transfer window with a few players leaving. Who sort of feels that role as you know, your main striker? Uh, good question. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm sure the club's looking at different, um, different options to bring in and um, it's something that we, we obviously need to need to fill the position. There's probably a few other positions that the club's looking at um, filling with the departures, but it uh, brings an opportunity for some young players as well to put their hand up. And um, Costanzo is obviously coming after the back of a good NPL season, so it's, um, it's a good chance for him to show what he's got. Yeah, you, oh, I was going to say, when do, do you know when the new signings might be announced? Um, no, you can probably ask Cosi behind you. <laughs> <laughs> um, what does he bring? Um, from the, the lower leagues into now to A League? Well, I guess you scored goals. Um, I don't think it matters what level you're at. If you score goals, um, it's the hardest thing to do in football. And he's going to bring energy. And, and that's something that we saw at the, the end of last season, the young players coming on, especially off the bench. You know, they brought this enthusiasm and, and fearlessness, which, um, you know, as a young player, you, you tend to have. So it's, it's good for the group. Um, it's something that the club obviously wants to do is promote young South Australian players. and. He's, he's done well, so it should make every NPL player kind of be, um, give them a bit of hope that if they're doing well and performing, that um, the club here is looking to bring in the best possible players. What holes do you think the club needs to fill at the moment? What, what, where should you be, uh, besides a striker, where do you think like, the other holes they should look at bringing people in for? Yeah, I guess obviously losing Izzo is a, is a massive um, holder for who's uh, probably one of the best keepers in the league, I think. Um, so you obviously want to try and replace him, uh, but in saying that we've got Dax um, and we've got a few of the other younger keepers um, that, you know, again, it's an opportunity for them to put their hand up. But think all over, you know, you want to strengthen in probably every, every position to get the best um, squad possible. Um, it's just a matter of who's available and, and who you can attract to come here. As, uh, in your form, how, how are you tracking this season? Will you have a similar role to last season? Yeah, I believe so. I think I enjoyed it at the end of last season. Um, the position I was playing with Carl and, and the way I finished, I was um, quite happy with, and I really want to build on build on that personally. And, and now we've got a good eleven weeks to work on for myself certain areas of my game I want to work on um, going into the new season.
James Troisi comes back. Where's he sort of at the moment? Obviously, he had that um, knee surgery recently, so. How's he tracking? Yeah, really good. He trained today. Um, so I think he's been doing quite a lot of work in the off-season. Um, he didn't get too much of a break. So it was disappointing that he wasn't there at the end of last season. But um, now that he's, he's back fit, we've obviously lost Riley and he can come in and hopefully fill that hole. He's, he's a quality player. He's played for the national team and um, he brings a lot of class to the team, which will be um, you know, a good positive for us. Well, yeah, he's, he's going to be changing positions, isn't he? So how would that go in terms of him going more forward this, this season? Yeah, I think probably himself personally would say he, he prefers to play as more in number 10. I think that's where he's played most his, uh, most his career. So I think it will, will suit him better. I'm not sure. I guess you probably have to speak to Carly exactly what he's going to do. We haven't spoke too much about positional stuff. But um, yeah, he's a, he's a quality player. I think he can play anywhere in the midfield and um, he's someone that you definitely want on your team. Michael Jakobsen, how, how important is it here that he's with the club as the skipper for another season? Yeah, it's massive. I think he's a, he's a great, um, great figure for the younger players to look up to. Um, he's a good player. He obviously, I think, got in the PFA team of the season. I know that one, and, and he's you know, a good player and a good guy to have around the change room. So with all the departures, it was good to keep um, Yucca. With the, even with the departures, what is the expectation for the upcoming season? I know we're still a couple of months away. What is the expectation, you think, for the season? Uh, we haven't spoken about that, but for me personally, I go out onto the field to win every single game. Um, we're going to be training as hard as we can. I'm sure the club's going to build a team that can win every single game. Of course, that's close to impossible to do, but the aim is to, um, to compete and to, to win every game. And um, wherever that leads us at the end of the season, obviously, time will tell. But, you know, we, we shouldn't be scared of any other team and we shouldn't be um, probably setting certain expectations on where we could or where we, we will finish. Um, it's just about going out there and, and trying to win every single game. Do you think even with the departures you've got enough class to be able to do that? Yeah, I think with the squad at the moment we've got some good players, some really good young players coming through and obviously there's going to be some older, uh, more experienced players that they do bring in as well. Um, so hard to say at the moment, but you know, for me personally I, I don't really mind who, who we've got um, out there. You know, We're going to be going out there to, to do our best and to win every game. Um, the only other one I've had was, you know, with uh, Ross coming back in. Do you find it interesting that Adelaide United is all of a sudden, you know, putting their arms around old players, people from the club? What does that sort of bring to, to the group? Uh, I guess it's exciting. Um, you know, being for myself, being a local SA um, boy, I think I grew up watching, you know, Cole play, watching Ross play, watching um, these guys play here when I was a kid, um, and it was exciting. And now to be coached by them, um, everyone in South Australia should have the mentality that this is a South Australian club. We want to bring back South Australian players. Everyone involved in the club is, is mainly a South Australian. There should be no reason why everyone in South Australia isn't supporting the team. So it, um, it's pretty much a no-brainer, I think, and that's something that the club um, has obviously worked on, um, and they've obviously now executed it and brought in everyone. So it should be a, a good good season and, and good for everyone in, in the town to get behind us. I'm going to ask you about the yellow kid as well, you reckon? Yeah, the fans loved it apparently, so I've got to say I love it as well, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> what were your thoughts when they said, when the, the, the bosses said we're going to have a yellow for, this, uh, for the Reds this season? Yeah, no, it's okay. I think it's something different. Um, it's, a, it's a nice kit. It feels, feels good on and um, yeah, the home kits are really nice. The away kits are good, so it's exciting. It's something different and, and hopefully the fans will, um, will want to purchase one as well.